just a bit of an update on a CR600 project that I've got going on at the moment. Uh, so this one here has been, uh, was a 22 cal, came to me as 22 cal, but for a friend I'm modifying it to 25 cal. Uh, so the barrel here, that's a 25 caliber Marauder barrel, uh, which I've machined up to, to fit inside the action of the CR600. I've had to increase the size of the single shot tray as well to take the 25 cal pellets and I've also had to ma machine up a new um, probe, bolt probe for it as well. So the machining involved is, it's not too complex but it's, it's, it's not as straightforward as, uh, as some. So there's, um, where's the transfer port? So as you can see we've got two o-ring grooves here, this is the original 22 cal barrel. Uh, two o-ring grooves here each side of the transfer port and then uh, in the end if it'll focus on that in the end there there's an o-ring that seals against the probe instead of the probe having an o-ring on it uh, so so there's a bit of machining involved to get the o-ring grooves in the right place to get the transfer port in the right place uh, and smooth and to get that o-ring seated and the right size a uh, bit of machining involved but but not too bad. Uh, so this is a standard 22 cal CR600. Um, the probe there. So the, the probe's a extended type probe um, in these. They, when it pushes forward you'll see it come into that, you should see it in that transfer hole. You can't quite see it, but it, it seats the pellet just up past the transfer port here. What I've done with this one, instead of going for a extended probe, I have gone with a hollow probe. So that will help. There we go. Uh, probably see it better from the side. So the, the gas actually flows through the probe and then straight into the skirt of the pellet. So this helps seat the pellets uh, this, over the, trans the larger transfer port holes uh, a little bit better in the bigger cowls. Um, so you can see there the transfer port hole is quite large. Uh, it's five millimeters. So this helps to push the pellet over that hole without damaging it. Whereas the, the probe ones, uh, like that one, uh, tend to push on the center of the pallet rather than on the skirt of the pallet uh, and it allows the pallet to drop down inside the large transfer ports. Uh, I should have this together in the next couple of days to, to give it a go. Looking forward to it, but uh, a bit of machining involved in, in setting up a new, new probe. Uh, getting the single shot tray to fit a pallet nicely and to get it all working smoothly. It's an 18 inch barrel, uh, so hoping for some pretty good power, power results, hopefully 20 foot pounds, maybe, we'll see. Um, now let's take a look at the valve mods that I've done for it. Um, so we'll start off with the standard valve. Lots of threads, as you can see. So, the CO2 end of the valve. Let's see if it can focus better. Alright, so you can see I've cut off quite a few of the threads. That helps to increase volume inside the valve. Um, you know, this many threads is all you really need to, to hold the valve together. Uh, there's not a lot of pressure on the threads and if you look down inside them again I'll see if I can get it to focus better and you can't really see down inside the black one um, but I, I've bought it out to a larger internal diameter and also um, deeper you still can't see it um, it's around five mil deeper, slightly more, 
that helps in two ways. It gives you a little bit extra valve volume, uh, but it also lengthens the seat for the valve spring to sit against, so it softens the valve spring a little bit. Uh, now at the other end, um, obviously a larger transfer porthole. So the standard one I think is 3.5 millimeters, uh, whereas in the 25 cal I've gone for 5 millimeters. I've also um, opened it up, removed some of the threads that aren't really needed because I've shortened the thread on the other piece, and I've um, seated it down a little, little bit deeper, just to give it a little bit more valve volume. Uh, also increased the diameter of the um, hole through the transfer port, of course, um, and through the both the breech and the barrel. Uh, and of obviously the, the new flow-through port's got a, a hole the same size in it too.